Day 3, we went to Kotoko Inn Temple, which is located in Kamakura. Passing the entrance, you will see a water station where you can wash your hands, your face, and even your mouth. This is the Great Buddha of Kamakura, which is a bronze statue of Amida Buddha. It has been along the second tallest bronze Buddha statue in Japan, and it measures 13.35 meters tall and weighs approximately 93 tons. The statue is hollow, so it's possible for visitors to view the interiors. The statue was cast in the year of 1252 and was located inside a large temple hall. However, the temple buildings were destroyed multiple times by typhoons and tsunamis in the 14th and 15th centuries. So since the late 15th century, the Buddha has been standing in the open air. To find out more about the Great Buddha's history, you can find information in Kotokuin Temple. Our next destination is Inoshima Island, which is located in Kanagawa Prefecture, Sagami Bay. In Inoshima Island, you'll find fresh seafood that they sell near the bay. And not only that, you can also find a lot of seafood restaurants around the area. In this street, you'll find a lot of stores that sell souvenirs, snacks, and of course, traditional clothing. We even saw a Hello Kitty cafe, but unfortunately we couldn't stay there for long. But if you have time, go check it out. We grab a bite in this place that sells taco senbei, which means compressed octopus. They compress the octopus by using this machine by providing pressure to flatten it evenly on a heated surface. you to wear something comfortable when you're heading towards the Noshima Shrine. This is because there's so many stairs and a lot of walking involved around Noshima Island in general. Around this area, you'll find various wooden plaques with prayers and wishes written on them. These are hung around the complex. This is Inoshima Shrine Pond, and here you can wash your money, and apparently it brings good luck. 
Someone told me that if you aim for that metal basket, your wish can come true. And yeah, I finished all my coins that day. Our last stop in Enoshima Island is Enoshima Sea Candle Tower. At the top of the tower, you will see amazing views of Enoshima Island. Heading home, we pass by Matsuya, which is a restaurant chain around Tokyo. As you probably noticed, there are a lot of restaurants in Tokyo that uses this machine. This is because it's very practical and it's very easy to use. That is it for today. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys like this content. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!